What is going on, all you people? Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Hope y'all are having a great day today. Well, guys, as y'all can tell, we are back at the table. So, obviously, we're talking about something good today. And that something is this new rod right here that I just picked up from Academy. Just had it shipped in today. And this is the Dobbins Rod Fury Series. Let me show y'all this if my camera will focus real quick for y'all. There you go. Yeah. Now this is, yeah, like I said, the Fury Series by Dobbins. This is the 7'3 Heavy Fast. And this is my first impressions. Just got it out of the box. And automatically, first impressions is how light this rod is for a heavy fast. Like, it feels just like a medium, medium heavy in your hand. It is super lightweight. It is very, very nice in the hands. Very smooth. I like the all matte black. I kind of like the green and black that they got going on. Um... Another thing I noticed is on the back of this rod here that not a lot of rod companies do, and I think they should, especially for novice and amateur fishermen, because this right here would really, really, really help you. Let me see if I can get this to focus for y'all. But uh, there you go. So right there is the, uh, this is the line weight that you can have on there. It is 10 to 20 pound line. Uh, this is the uh, uh, bait weight you can have. It is a quarter ounce to a full ounce. And it even says what you can use this rod for and what it's made for. And that is really, really good, especially you have these rods and they're not paired up yet and they're just sitting there. You just need to grab a rod and you need to know what it does. You can look right there to the back and know exactly what to put on this bait. For example, it says this uh, this rod right here is made for spinner baits, buzz baits, sinkos, horny toads, jigs, and small swim baits, all up to a full ounce. And I think that is great. That is really, really good. It's really pretty much a good all-around rod. It is... Yeah, it's going to come in handy, that is for sure. Another thing that I like right here, it says, huh, right here where the uh, uh, reel will go, it says, uh, what does it say? Fish to win. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, the rod holder guides is really nice, really strong. I like that cork handle right here. I still have the uh, laminate left on it. I'm going to probably leave that on there as long as I can because I really want to keep this nice and fresh and unscathed as long as I possibly can. Now another thing I'm starting to lean away toward, uh, lean away from, is those foam handle rods. Like I love them; they're comfortable. But after a while, y'all, they start to crack. They start to just flake off. They eventually, over time, they end up just falling apart. Now I found that cork handles, if you treat them well and you know don't pick at them or anything like that, they will last a really long time. And that is why I'm kind of leaning towards the cork handles. Now another thing I like that I've mentioned in other rod reviews that I, I hated is when rod companies like to put that uh, hook holder all the way down here. So you got to put it all over your rod, I mean all over your reel and hook your bait all the way down here. And it, it just becomes a pain in the butt. So Dobbins put it right up there where it's supposed to go. Right there where my thumb is. As your hook holder. I wish they didn't have it closed. I wish they had it open so you didn't have to uh, put the hook through your bait. So you could just put the hook right there. But... You know, every rod company is different. Now, another thing I want to talk about is the eyelids on this. I don't know if it'll focus. Probably not. Okay, there it is. Yeah, you can see the eyelids. So the eyelids on this thing, when I first got it, I thought they were upside down because that's the way they looked. But according to people at Academy, that is exactly how they're made and how they're supposed to be. They're coated on both sides. Really small eyelids, but not too small. Not as small as the 7'3 Heavy that I got from Six Cents which I don't mind. I don't mind the bigger eyelids, the smaller eyelids, to be honest with you, but I really like these. These are perfect size, right in the middle, good size all around. Uh, what else do I need to talk about? Uh, the price, of course. Yes, the price. So I ended up getting this from Academy for $120. It resells as $130. Uh, I don't know if y'all shop at Academy a whole lot, but if you get that Academy, get, uh, that Academy credit card and it takes off 10%, it is uh, definitely, definitely, definitely comes in handy, especially when you're buying baits and rods as much as I am. So $120, you uh, really can't go wrong. Now, a lot of y'all might be asking is, what's the difference between this rod and the $100 Bass X rod that you got? Well, the difference is, this is the Dobbins, that is St. Croix, and they're made of different types of material. That is 7 foot 1 medium heavy fast. This is 7 foot 3 heavy fast. But, yeah, that one was $100, this one was $130, I mean $120. So, really, you know, $20 more. And you get a really great rod from Dobbins. So that is just why I got it. It was mainly out of curiosity. I've asked a lot of people because I've been looking for a new rod. And I want to try new rod companies. And I was like, what's a good rod company? And I just threw it out there. My buddy Aaron immediately hit me back up. And he's like, try Dobbins. Dobbins are great rods. I've never had one do me wrong. And they have great customer service. So I was like, okay, well, Dobbins it is. So went and uh, 
order my Dobbins and uh, here it is today. And I gotta say, first impressions is I like it a lot. I do, I do, I do. Now, I wanna talk about the rod for a little bit. It is a strong rod, don't get me wrong. It's got plenty of backbone right here, especially where you need it. It is super, super strong. Now, I don't know if, I, I don't know if I'll be able to get this in camera. Let me try. But I want y'all to see this because I noticed this as well. Okay, so here's the tip of the rod right here. Now, this is where the fast action from Dobbins really kicks in, how sensitive these rods are, is that tip is super bendy, super flexible, good parabolic bend. That is exactly what you're looking for in these rods because that sensitivity is going to let you feel any type of bite there is, even the smallest nibble from that dink that you might have in the pond, and you're just going to feel a tink, 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 tink. But as soon as we get down, probably past the, to the fifth eyelid right here, fifth or sixth, is when that backbone really starts to kick in, and you can feel how stiff this rod can really, really get. And once you get down here to that final eyelid next to that handle, there is just no bend in it, no flex. And that is exactly what you want in a really good 7'3 heavy rod especially one as sensitive as apparently Dobbins are but guys we are going to put that to the test in a future video y'all best believe it because i am not going to let this bad boy sit around and not be used that would be a uh, shame to do that and i will not have that happen but uh yeah here's another look at it just so y'all can get to see you know Dobbins green and black this is the fury series now they have another series uh i think it's the colt series and it's orange and black but the green and black looked a lot better so that's why I got it. The fish to win. I like that sticker right there. Uh, I don't know what type of material they use for these rods. I really don't. I'm sure some of y'all do that are watching this video and this guy is so stupid. But if y'all know what these rods are made of, please leave them in the comments because I love to know because these are really, really nice rods. Super lightweight. Again, I can't stop mentioning how lightweight of a rod this is compared to my Six Sense Lux 7 foot 3 Heavy Fast that I have for Six Sense. Now, not down in that rod at all. I love that rod. It is stiff. It is strong. That is my frog rod. But it is a, a good bit heavier than this rod. You can definitely tell it is a whole lot stiffer. So whatever Dobbins is using for these rods is super lightweight. And I am digging it, guys. I am digging it. But yeah, $120, I'd say that's money well spent from Academy, and I will probably end up getting another one if I like this enough. But I will bring y'all another update probably a few weeks down the road on how I'm still liking this ride. But guys, I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the Dark Will Action channel, y'all. If y'all like seeing reviews and product reviews and testing out stuff like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There's a whole playlist for it I've made. Go check that out, guys. But as always, I really hope y'all enjoyed the video. I love y'all. Y'all keep it real. I will catch y'all on the next one, y'all. Y'all keep it real. Peace.